going to be upgrading my friend's garbage mechanical keyboard, but I only had $50. The keyboard that I will be upgrading is the Red Dragon K552, which is a TKL keyboard that has a full plastic case, north-facing per-key RGB lighting, and a metal plate, which all comes out to $38 on Amazon. Oh yeah, did I mention? He has blue switches, which we definitely need to change. The first thing I did was erase the logo. I heard somewhere that you can erase a logo, but it didn't fully erase properly, um, probably because I didn't erase it long enough. My friend is pretty clean, but when you have three cats and your keyboard has been collecting dust for over a year, it kind of gets dirty, so I gave the keyboard a wash. Wait, I don't actually do that. Because I have a very limited budget of only $50, it didn't give me much hope that the keyboard would sound good, until I found a solution. Mods. There are an abundance of mods on the internet that are free and can actually impact the sound of a keyboard a lot. One of the most popular mods is the foam mod. The foam mod is self-explanatory. Foam. In. Keyboard. But first, I needed to disassemble the keyboard, but I could not physically disconnect the PCB from the connector. And I tried, okay? I tried for like 10 minutes straight, and I even looked up a tutorial. You can just pinch this right here, and it should be unplugged pretty easily. Oh, hell no, man. Bro, bro, how did you do that? My fingers are literally bleeding. So if you feel bad for me, subscribe. Anyway, I just had to work around it. So for the foam mod, I decided to use some of this packing foam I had laying around. But there was a problem. The foam was too thick. And basically the plate and the PCB were too close together, meaning the switch would not fit properly into the plate. So I came up with an alternate solution, which included using felt and con balls, which I had running around. And that actually worked, so I was quite happy. The next thing I did was lube the stabilizers. And disclaimer, I don't count the price of any of the tools that I'm using during the process of upgrading this keyboard. Modding the stabilizers is relatively easy. Clip this part of the stabilizer, lube the inside part of the housing, lube the stabilizer wire with some dielectric grease, reassemble, and put back into the case. So originally, this board had blue switches, and instead I will be replacing them with one of the best budget switches on the market right now, Echo Jelly Blacks. One, because my friend insisted on having them on the dock. And two, the Red Dragon K552 only supports O10 hot sauce sockets, meaning you can only use a specific type of switch from brands like Echo. For a pack of 45 switches, it was $16.99, and I bought two packs, which totaled to $34. One of the easiest but most excruciatingly painful ways to make your keyboard sound good is to lube the switches. So that is exactly what I did. But I know you don't want to watch me lube switches for 5 hours. And disclaimer, you don't actually need to lube your switches. There are plenty of good stock switches out there and you can also consider buying pre lubed ones. For the keycaps, I only had $16, leaving me with very little options. But after researching, I narrowed it down to two sets of keycaps. These $15 green and white double shot PBT keycaps and another $15 black pudding keycap set. But my friend decided to go with these green and white keycaps. Comment which one you would have gone with. What I will say though, is the print is not as crisp as a high quality keycap set, but that is to be expected. And also the legends are as dark as I would like, but my friend did say he wanted them and it's his choice. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, and comment down below anything you would have done differently. Bye!